Hey kids! In today's video, we'll be learning about buoyancy. Are you ready? Let's begin! Buoyancy is the force that enables objects to float on water, air, or on some fluids. It is the upward force exerted by a fluid that opposes the weight of an immersed or submerged object. In simpler terms, buoyancy is what allows things to stay afloat instead of sinking. The key principle behind buoyancy is Archimedes' principle, named after the ancient Greek mathematician and scientist Archimedes. According to this principle, the buoyant force acting on an object in a fluid is equal to the weight of the fluid that the object displaces. If the buoyant force is greater than or equal to the weight of the object, it floats. If the buoyant force is less than the weight, the object sinks. Buoyancy is influenced by the density of the fluid and the volume and density of the object. Less dense objects are more buoyant. Also, the more water or air an object can displace, the greater the buoyant force it experiences. Buoyancy is why boats float on water, balloons rise in the air, and why we feel lighter in a swimming pool. Understanding buoyancy is crucial in designing ships, submarines, as well as other engineering applications. Now here are fun facts about buoyancy. Buoyancy in icebergs. Icebergs, despite being made of frozen water, float in the ocean because their density is lower than that of seawater. About 90% of an iceberg's volume is underwater. Helium Balloons Helium balloons float in the air because helium is less dense than the surrounding air. The buoyant force lifts the balloon making it rise. Buoyancy in hot air balloons Hot air balloons work on the principle of buoyancy. The air inside a balloon is heated, making it less dense than the surrounding air, causing the balloon to rise. Buoyancy in deep sea creatures Some deep sea creatures, like the giant tube worm, use buoyancy to stay afloat in the water column. They have gas-filled structures in their bodies that help them control their depth. Buoyancy and Density Experiments Buoyancy is a popular concept in hands-on science experiments, such as the classic experiment where a peeled orange sinks but the unpeeled orange floats due to changes in density. Buoyancy and Submarines Submarines use ballast tanks to control their buoyancy. By adjusting the amounts of water in these tanks, submarines can submerge or surface in the water. Buoyancy in swimming Swimmers experience buoyancy in the water and buoyant force helps them stay afloat. The more air in the lungs, the greater the buoyant force. And that is all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed learning about buoyancy today. Take care now. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed the video and want to see more videos from us, please click the subscribe button. Also, give us a like. That will help us. We thank you so much and we do hope that you enjoy our videos. See you soon.